infatuation with her. Don't! <laughs> False labor fools the best of us. I'm sorry, Mrs. Waterford. Alfred has pushed Serena Joy and Fred Waterford right to the edge. She has forgotten her place. I think the best way is the most natural way. Where does their power lie? Their power lies in bringing the ceremony back. Please come and sit. As horrific as everything else that's happened before, Alfred can almost handle that. But this is a violation at a level we've never seen before. For me, it's the most abhorrent in all the scenes from season one to two that, that I've participated in. You're not quite sure who's perpetuating this punishment. Please! When you're playing these roles that are so um, ugly, it's very hard to sit down and have those discussions. Well, why? Why are we really doing this? Gilead is not a soft, comfy, wonderful place. It's our responsibility to portray it for what it is. And that's part of the reminder to the audience that um, this is what happens when you let go of freedom. The season is really about motherhood, the force of motherhood. Alfred doesn't ever think she's going to see her daughter again. Something she thought was impossible and was her heart's desire happens. And it's completely different than you think. It's a realization for June that in many ways she's lost her daughter. I tried so hard. Daddy did too. Why didn't you try harder? We did a lot of research with the UN about these moments of reunification and what that actually is like. In a lot of ways, it's word for word a lot, exactly what they told us. This is what happens. I need you to be careful. And I need you. I need you to keep yourself safe. A lot of it goes back to Lizzie being an actress. Okay. Being able to see her in that scene with Jordana, who plays her daughter, they work so beautifully together. It was just a treat to watch. They connect, but it's bittersweet. 